Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am doing great from my end and I want to welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time we have a new video, you will be able to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate all of you. Let us continue being here to support Harry and Megan. Let us always be here to defend them because I can assure you that the hate is not yet over and it's actually growing bigger every day. So you can imagine we are here being told Prince William and Kate urged the Sussexes to bring the children to UK. I mean, what does that actually mean? These people are not even serious at any point. The same same William and Kate are the ones who bullied this family. And I can tell you for free, it is not worth to actually visit those kind of people. You will never go back to someone who actually bullied you, who treated you the way they feel like. It's not fair. Because I remember in June 2022, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex brought their children to the UK. It was actually for the Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee. And you know, Queen invited them personally. And there is enough evidence to suggest that she also worked out their security issues for visits. And so you can't actually expect for now the Sussexes to just go to the UK with their children and yet they are not sure of the security that they might get. You know, sometimes we need to consider some important things like that because, first of all, the UK, they actually said boldly with no fear they actually said that harry is not going to get that level of security that he needs when in uk and that was something that was actually in the court and you can imagine harry is now not entitled to that kind of security so you just expect harry to move out of his home taking his children along to just go and expose them in that toxic environment oh no that will never happen. I have been seeing a lot of people commented on that and I am very sure Harry is someone who can actually, he is so much matured and he can never allow his children to face whatever they faced together with Megan. So for these people who are actually commenting, I see people are commenting that Harry should actually not take the children she, he should not take the family to the UK because of the security reasons. I want to say just be relaxed because Harry himself is so much aware and he will never make such a mistake. Okay, let me share something from the Daily Mirror so that you just answer me at the end of it all. So it's, it's actually a short one. So just allow me read it to you. Then we continue. Prince William and Princess Kate are trying their best to end their feud with Prince Harry and Meghan. According to one royal expert, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have a strained relationship with the royal family and they, can, they are currently estranged from the Prince and Princess of Wales. However, royal author Tom Quinn has said William and Kate have tried to fix this. Speaking exclusively to the mirror, he said the couple have reached out to Meghan and Harry and urged them to bring their children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, to the UK to visit. However, it's believed Meghan has put her foot down and refused. Tom told us there is no way Meghan would bring the children to UK William and Kate have suggested that Meghan and Harry bring the children and that the two couples and the families try to make up, but the suggestion is not leading anywhere so far. 
Meghan and Harry are not close with William and Kate, and Sussexes hit out at their family members in their Netflix documentaries, as well as their bombshell interview with Oprah. Harry also made a number of accusations about his brother and sister-in-law in the debut memoir Spare. Okay, you have just heard that. So you see, William and Kate inviting these kids, these young ones, it's putting them at risk. And I really do not know what pushed them to actually urge Harry and Meghan to bring the children back. I know it all started after that message that actually Harry and Meghan shared with Kate about the well wishes. And it was nothing to do with reconciliation. To be honest, it was nothing to do with begging for reconciliation. And I saw this story and my first thought was, for what reason? They can smear the kids too to distract from the things happening at Kensington Palace. So basically they are just changing the track they are changing the tactic but we are aware that harry is so much careful and he knows whatever these people do so he can never allow his children to face something like whatever they faced and i i knew all along i have actually been aware that the whales would try to clean to clean up their image after harry and megan sent these well wishes messages to Kate. You know, they will try to say something so that they can actually be seen as the good people, smearing Harry and Meghan as the bad ones. So for this case, you can see. Now some of the people will be talking of the way Harry and Meghan are refusing to actually take back the children to just say hi. So basically that's what they are doing. They want to demonize Meghan in particular. I hope you read, or rather, I hope you heard that line I told you. It is believed Megan has put her foot down and refused. So that's from them. Mostly, they are actually blaming Megan. They always put it on Megan, and they have said that is the main reason to why they are not going back to the UK. So they will say Megan is the one behind it, and that Megan do not want to allow. Harry and the children back to UK, which is something positive for me. I'll consider that as something so thoughtful of them. It's not only Megan. I am very sure even Harry is not comfortable with that. But because these people really hate Megan and definitely they are so jealous and bitter of Megan and the successes that she has. So that's why they are tending to actually put it on Megan, blaming her for no good reason. That is what is there. I don't know what you think about the same story. But for me, I feel like it's not right for Harry and Meghan to take their children back to UK, considering there is no enough security. So basically, that is my own view. Kindly comment down below on your own tech and allow me end it here. Thank you so much for watching up to the end. Subscribe to our channel and like this video. Until next time, it is a goodbye.